Here we go. I'm Alexis Deboshnik and I'm back making another recipe from a retro edition of Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Today I'm gonna make something kinda wild. Tomato aspic. If you don't know what aspic is, it's basically a kind of jello or jelly that gets flavored with kind of whatever you want. They're usually savory and uh, this one has a lot of interesting things. It kind of sounds like a Bloody Mary and I love a Bloody Mary so I think this actually could be really delicious. Okay, so to start it calls for two cups of tomato juice. And I just add it right to the pot. In that same pot, it calls for a third cup of chopped onions. Next, I add some celery leaves. I love celery leaves. I love that they're adding this. I feel like so often they just get tossed aside and they have such a great, fresh, herbaceous flavor. We'll just add that. Some brown sugar. Brown sugar feels like a little bit of a wild card, but maybe it's just to balance all the other flavors. Some salt, bay leaves, and some cloves. It says to simmer this for about five minutes. I'm guessing just to kind of heat it through. It smells like tomato juice. Like if you ordered like a can of tomato juice on a plane, my mom always does that. This is what it smells like. So while I'm waiting for this to heat up, I'm gonna move on to the next part. It says to soften the gelatin with one cup of the cold tomato juice and then add it to the heated mixture. I haven't worked a lot with gelatin, but this seems like a lot. It's interesting to me that we're dissolving the gelatin with the cold tomato juice. Yeah, this, this looks kind of like a pizza sauce. So this mixture has been simmering. So now it says to strain it. Ooh. It is a comically small strainer. It smells actually really good. It smells Kind of spicy, savory, it smells delicious. What's left in the strainer is pretty chunky, so I think, that, I think that's all we're gonna get. Okay, now the recipe says to add this mixture to the hot mixture, and it's really, um, it kind of looks like tomato paste right now. It's really like seizing up. And I guess I give it a stir. It says dissolve in the mixture, okay, so. And now, add the remaining tomato juice and lemon juice. I'm really curious as to why you're adding the tomato juice in like three stages. Like I understand the dissolving of the gelatin, but what about that like last cup? Okay, I'll give that a stir. And now the recipe says to chill this until partially set, but there's no timing on it. So I'm like, is that 10 minutes? Is that an hour? I think I just have to keep a close eye on it. Okay, so this has been chilling for about 30 minutes and you can definitely see that the consistency has changed. If you take a spoon, it's like, definitely thickly coats the spoon. Without knowing what they really want, I think this is right. Okay, now the recipe calls for about a cup of finely chopped celery, which is gonna go right into the aspic. And this sounds curious. Again, the celery feels like we're just making like a big batch of Bloody Marys. So now, celery is going into the bowl and give it a good stir. And then it says to pour into a five cup ring mold. I think the, this shape is so fun. Like it feels so fun and retro to me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I honestly don't know what to expect. I think it could be good. Again, this doesn't say how long to chill it, but it says to chill it until firm. So I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and we'll see what happens. Okay. My tomato aspic has been chilling for a few hours, although if you were to make this at home, you could totally do it overnight. It looks chunky. Like this looks kind of like salsa. Again, real salsa theme. And I guess I'm just gonna flip it over and see what happens. 
I learned last time that you just have to pop this up and then it should just fall out. <laughs> the sound of like the jello shaking is so strange. She is beauty, she is grace, look at that. Can you imagine like showing up to a dinner with this like jiggly tomato thing? It does feel like a showstopper. You know, this would be a real presentation. Okay, let's see. Like this is a really firm aspic. Hmm. Oops. Oh, it's she's 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 shaky. Huh. The the texture as I slice into it really feels like tomato paste. Maybe a smaller bite is better. Well, I am not like a huge jello person. You know, this is very set. I mean, it's it's like about to kind of bounce off the plate. So maybe if I had a little less gelatin and was a little more wobbly, you know, I might like the texture a little better, but I do think the flavor of this is good. I've dropped the Bloody Mary reference so many times, but I was looking through Better Homes and Gardens and I think another great way to kind of update this would just be Tomato salad, like let's not reinvent the wheel here. Tomatoes being in season, you could add a bunch of herbs and other, you know, other fresh produce and I think it'd be lovely. I, I think there's a reason we don't have aspics around anymore and uh, happy to have tried it, happy to leave it in the past. Let me know in the comments if you're a Jell-O fan and if you would ever try an aspic at home.